Hey guys, Billy Davison here with Davison Pressure Wash and Painting, Hammond, Louisiana. Hope you all are having a great afternoon. In this video, I want to talk about applying chemicals to a resident home, house washing, or a commercial building, or doing some flat work with an X Jet. Now, there are several ways to apply chemicals, but today we are going to talk about the X Jet and a few things that I think you should know. I wanted to mention real quick if you guys are looking for our resource page, it will be in a link in the description. So you can click on that. Also, I pin a comment and that's just a bunch of uh, helpful information to help grow your power washing business to places that you may not have ever imagined that you can grow. And you can do it quickly and take some shortcuts. So check out that link if you're interested. Also, I want to make this uh, mention as well. I'm looking for about five or six people, just a handful of people to personally mentor for some reoccurring contracts that is commercial work. So you will need to be able to uh, have a little bit of insurance, doesn't take a lot, but also be able to, to work at nighttime. And um, if you're interested in having some of those very lucrative contracts, please text me and I'll give you my number at the end of the video as usual. And uh, I promise you, this is very exciting. I can only do five or six people because it's gonna be time consuming on your part and my part. So looking for some really highly motivated, ambitious people that are ready uh, to go make a lot of money and then perhaps come on a channel and we can talk about it at some point in the future how well they've done. So getting to our X jet, like I said, there are a few ways that you can apply bleach or sodium hypochlorite or chemicals to a house. One way would be downstream injecting. So we've talked about that a million times here on the channel and probably will some more in the future. Second preferred method would be a soft wash pump and we've all known about that for years. We watch all of that as well. And those are two great ways. But the third way is the X Jet, as I got here. I have an X Jet I've had for several weeks and we've used it quite a bit. And I've had X Jet for many years. I got another that X Jet that's still kicking and it's like 11 years, might be nine years old, nine to 11 years old. Um, it's still kicking, but it's kind of beat up. So we went ahead and got another one a few weeks ago. And I wanted to talk about this because I know a lot of the guys out there just don't know what this is and what it's capable of doing and what it's not capable of doing. So it does have its limitations. First of all, this X-Jet snaps into the end of your wand, just like a pressure tip. Um, it's quarter inch coupling, boom, it's in there. Just a little quick connect. Now this end is the business end of it. This is an adjustable nozzle. Um, not all X-Jets are adjustable. Some are the original, one's called the original and one is called the M5 adjustable. And that's what this is. Whenever you're purchasing it, you need to match this with your GPM. So if you got a five and a half gallon per minute machine, four or either eight, whatever you're working with, even a two to three gallon per minute, you can match an X jet with it. Um, also, that's very important. Um, also, it has a um, siphon hose that's about 15 feet long. I'm not gonna drag it all out for you, but it does have a little on and off shut off valve in here as well. Um, this is another thing that you can utilize. Usually what I do instead of doing all of that is just uh, pop this right off of my um, my nozzle here. It's kind of stuck, let me pull it off and just use this for rinsing. So this would go into the wine and we could rinse with this. Again, it's adjustable. Now this hose, if it's still stuck in your bucket, know that if you drop this on the ground, it's gonna continue to siphon your SH out of the bucket onto the ground, and you'll have a big old nasty brown spot there in a few days and a very unhappy homeowner. So what you need to do is pull it all out the bucket or either put this back in the bucket. Um, I usually try to keep this in clean, so you touch it with your hands, you don't wanna mess, mess up uh, your hands with all that strong SH. So this has some capabilities, we'll go over that, but it does have some downfalls. The downfall is this hose. This hose um, can, I've, can be up to 50 feet long. Uh, I've never used one that long. I've used them 20, 30 feet long. This one that comes with is about 15 feet long. And it's a nuisance. I mean, you gotta drag it around. It's flipping and flopping out of buckets and you can pull a bucket over and a bucket spills and all that. So you need to find a way that you can secure uh, this hose in your five gallon bucket. I have seen people use some apparatuses where they fix it. I've used a dolly and a trash can, especially when I was doing large, large buildings. That seemed to work. Um, if you got a helper, he can hold it in there while you're applying your, your soap solution. But nonetheless, that is a nuisance. Um, now, is that nuisance worth dealing with? Of course it is, or we wouldn't be holding this X-Jet. Now, this X-Jet, I feel, is worth its weight in gold. 
Um, I think they under a couple hundred dollars. If they said they were $1,000, I would still buy them. Hope XJet doesn't hear me saying that, but um, it's not an everyday tool. It's not uh, something that we use daily, but when we do need it, it is priceless to us. Now, what this will do, this will draw a one to three or a one to four ratio, depending on your machine. One to three ratio is a bit on a strong side. One to four is about average, depending on your um, your RPMs and your gallons per minute. Uh, one to three means if you got 10% in a bucket, you're gonna get about 3.3 out the nozzle contacting the wall. Now this X-Jet does come new as all X-Jets do with these little proportional valves and this plastic bag. It comes with a chart for you to use. These are like one to 40 ratios, um, one to 20, depending on what you're doing. Um, I have seen people use these applying degreaser, but not so much for sodium hypochlorite because these things do get clogged up with calcium deposits and stuff. And then your uh, ratio that it's supposed to be drawn is not correct. So most often we don't even use those. Um, a lot of times, to be honest, which I throw them away. But what I will do is I will batch mix my bucket however I need it. So if I got 10 in a bucket, I will reduce that down to one or 2% or whatever I need. If y'all need those chemical ratios, that's also on our resource page that you can find in the link in the description, just how to mix everything up for this X-Jet as you need to clean multiple of surfaces um, around the home or commercial building. So guys, I wanted to talk about this X-Jet because I do get a lot of questions and hopefully this helps. Um, one other thing I want to mention, these little fins on the front need to be protected. So whenever you're done with it, put it up, um, protect these, these little fins can get bent and broke and your X-Jet would be performing correctly. But I get a lot of questions about this, so I want to address it and hope this helps. Like always, guys, I'm Billy Davidson. This way to protect your life and time. I'm going to see you in the next video.